Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Shayuni from Sajan Welfare Society. Today I'll be discussing about the bilateral relationship between India and Germany. Before that, let me give you a brief introduction about Sajan Welfare Society. Sajan means a process of creating something new. Women have been considered the source of creation. Sajan Welfare Society is a woman centric organization that focuses on women empowerment. Its aim is to help women to achieve success and to make them more self sufficient in terms of their career and identity. Now let's discuss the Indo German relation. While World War 1 was going on, India was under the British rule. So, the Indo British army was directed to contribute soldiers to the allied war effort. including on the western front as the indian independence activists sought german help to obtain india's freedom it led to the indo german conspiracy at that time on the other hand subhash chandra bose asked help from the axis powers during world war 2 to get free from the clutches of the britishers during world war 2 around 24000 indo british armies died while fighting with nazi germany but india never claimed war reparation after that thus a new relation was formed between germany and india there were numerous obstacles between their relationship germany condemned india for liberating goa from portuguese rule in 1961 also they were criticized for intervening in 1971 bangladesh liberation war In 1998 Germany rejected India's nuclear test saying that was the wrong decision for them. Instead of such disagreements India was amongst the first countries that established a diplomatic relation with Germany. The relationship between the two has deepened after the cold war ended and since 2001 they have been sharing a strategic partnership with each other. Also India is one of the selected countries uh, with which Germany has a high level consultation. In 2008 during the official visit of German Chancellor Angela Merkel both the countries signed several agreements regarding commerce, science, technology and defense to expand their bilateral relationship. During their second visit in 2013 they enhanced their relationship further in various sectors. The turning point of Indo-German relation was the third visit of Angela Merkel in 2015 along with several members of her government. This third Indo-German intergovernmental consultation led to the signing of 18 memorandum of understanding that is also known as MOU. Germany turned a statue of Hindu goddess Durga which was a 10th century idol and was stolen from India. Germany is India's most important trading partner. Since India embarked on a course of reform and opened up its economy in 1991, the volume of trade between the two countries has increased rapidly. On the other hand, some states and cities of India and Germany have entered into twinning agreements. Karnataka and Vidya have had sister state agreements since 2007. Mumbai and Stuttgart have been sister cities since 1968. In January 2015, Maharashtra and Baden-Württemberg signed an MOU to establish a sister state relationship. Germany's development cooperation with India remains a major component of bilateral relation. This development cooperation focuses on following areas: energy, sustainable urban development, and environmental and resource protection. Germany's cooperation is also in the field of commercial maritime security and anti-terrorism. The Indian Navy and the German Navy conducted joint exercises in 2008 for the first time following an anti-piracy cooperation agreement between the two nations signed in 2006. India Germany Defence Cooperation Agreement provides a framework for bilateral defence cooperation. The then German Defence Minister Ms Ursula von der Leyen visited India in May 2015. 
and Raksha Mantri visited Berlin in February 2019. To further enhance the defense industry and defense cooperation between Germany and India, an arrangement on implementation of agreement of 6th October 2006 concerning bilateral defense cooperation was signed on 12 February 2019 during the visit of Raksha Mantri to Berlin. Germany has also supported India in education and cultural sectors. Germany helped to establish the Indian Institute of Technology Madras after both the governments signed an agreement in 1956. In the late 1960s, the German aircraft designer Kurt Tang was first employed as the director of the Madras Institute of Technology and later joined Hindustan Aeronautics, where he designed the Hindustan Marut fighter bomber, the first military aircraft constructed in India. On the other hand, both the countries established the Indo-German Science and Technology Center in New Delhi. And since then, they have been promoting joint research and development in energy, the environment, and technology. Indo-German Science and Technology Cooperation started with the signing of the Intergovernmental Science and Technology Cooperation Agreement in 1971 and 1974. More than 150 science and technology researches and 70 direct uh, partnerships between the universities of both the countries have been completed till now, including Max Planck Society and Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. The two countries have been sharing the rich cultures among them. Max Muller was the first scholar of Indo-European languages to translate and publish the Upanishads and the Rig Veda. Germans are interested in Indian philosophical texts also. There is constant growing popularity of Indian literature, music, dance, etc. in Germany, as well as motion pictures are also being shared with each other. There are about 1.7 lakh Indians and people of Indian origin in Germany. The Indian diaspora mainly comprises professionals, technocrats, businessmen, traders and nurses, etc. There has been an increase in the last few years in the number of qualified Indian professionals in Germany in the field of IT, banking, finance, etc. Over the last five years, the number of Indian students in Germany has more than doubled. According to DAD, in the winter semester of 2018 and 19, there were already 20,000 Indian students enrolled at German universities, making them the second largest group of international students in Germany. This March 2021, the two countries celebrated 70 years of diplomatic relations. Currently, Muktadatta Tumar is the incumbent Indian ambassador to Germany, while Walter J. Linder is the German ambassador to India. Recently, a video conference was held between the two countries where Modi appreciated the long standing role of Chancellor Merkel in providing stable and strong leadership at the European and global stage and thanked her for guiding the growth of the Indo German strategic partnership. In conclusion, India witnessed how wonderfully Germany aided India in this prevailing COVID situation, especially during the second wave of COVID pandemic, making Indo-German relation more stronger than ever before. So that is it for today. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and family and comment down below. We'll meet soon with another video. Till then, bye.